this, this isn't something I would have ever wanted anyone to see me like, but at this point, and I don't care anymore. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today is going to be a not so fun video to make because honestly this is one of the most aggravating things I have ever seen on the internet. If there was an award for the biggest piece of trash human that I have seen on the internet this week, this woman without a doubt wins it. You know what? She might even take the entire month. So the person we're going to be talking about today, I know that was quite an intense intro. Her name is Queen City Dom on all social medias for the most part and this woman is basically faking entire disabilities and entire illness illnesses under the guise of it happening because of the fact that she got a vaccine for COVID. So she is spreading misinformation and actively harming people while also making a complete joke of herself on the internet. And we're going to go deep dive on this woman today because uh, I was literally shaking with anger reading this stuff this morning. So first off, I'm just going to show you a little clip of her, uh, you know, TikTok that brought me here. And I'm going to let you, you know, kind of draw your own conclusions from this one. I know some of you might recognize me from my initial post on Instagram. I've been hiding a lot and not showing exactly what this has done to me. So yeah, I'm not going to show too much of the actual audio because it's just a bunch of sappy BS about her saying that no doctor will see her about her mysterious illnesses that seem to have appeared after she got this vaccine that she is clearly faking. I mean, if you can't discern that this is a person faking a disability, trying to act as if they are disabled or have some mysterious illness, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like this looks exactly like that woman who was caught scamming people on the news. I saw a clip of it like 10 years ago on YouTube. She's like fake walking down the road this exact same same way that this woman does. But yeah, I'm gonna read you a little bit from this uh, Instagram post where she talks about the various things uh, that happened according to her as soon as she took this vaccine, all of which is completely made up and fabricated. And she says, doctors have been pretty lost on exactly what's going on, running multiple tests, medical imaging and neurological exams, coming back with no answers. And she claims that these all come and go, and I, I might say they come and go at very opportune times. Uh, I'll get into that in a second here, but basically she suffers from dystonia, difficulty walking and weakness within the legs, dull aching and sharp shooting pains within the legs, vertigo, heart palpitations, lack of sensation throughout the body, cold sensation in the legs, pain behind the eyes, tremor in right hand. And she has some that are 24 seven, like memory loss, feeling out of body, visual changes and brain fog. So that's quite an extensive list, right? And apparently this has been just absolutely debilitating for this woman. I mean, look at this clip right here I'm showing. This is her sobbing, doing this weird fake shaking in her bed, as if this is real at all. Trying to do her best impression, like I said, of what she thinks a disabled person probably looks like. But to me, it just looks like some bad middle school acting. And if you want some further proof of how this is just completely BS, she has been suffering from this, or AKA grifting people for multiple months at this point, trying to prey on dumb people that are falling for this misinformation and make money out of them. She's been dealing with it so intensely and it has been hitting her every single day, yet she got married very recently while this has all been happening. And according to her bio on that post, everything was fine on the day of her wedding and she had very mild symptoms. Isn't that just incredible timing that she got to have a beautiful wedding and not be disabled for that day, but then the day before and after she was just bedridden with all these shakes and aches. Like, get over yourself, woman. You think you're actually fooling these people? Well, the sad thing is she is because she has started a GoFundMe that says help Dominique recover from the COVID-19 vaccine, which is the dumbest title I have ever seen for a GoFundMe. She has currently raised $15,000 at the time of making this post of her $50,000 goal. And if this is not a criminal act, I don't know what is. I don't know how this is possibly legal. I know GoFundMe is not out here verifying everyone's medical status to make sure that they're actually suffering from what they suffer suffer from and there's scams like this that happen probably all the time but this is just absolutely disgusting and vile and it hits me in a personal place because I personally have people in my life that are falling victim to this misinformation and it is like straining those relationships it's been a constant downer on my life lately having to deal with this idiocracy that's going on where people are spreading this misinformation and people are just eating it up like these sorry saps that donated to this thing to a total of $15,000 so far look someone donated a thousand dollars when I was checking this a thousand dollars of your own money to some wannabe IG model that literally sold her dignity just to have clout and to feel like she has a place in this world with everyone worrying about her and caring about her for the
these fake illnesses that she's making up. Now I'm gonna keep going because obviously there's some of you out there that might be like, oh Krim, this is this is a bad take. No, she she really is probably suffering from this stuff. Let's look at this Instagram story that I recorded of hers today, where she talks about you know how she is so touched by everyone coming out and seeing her. Uh, last time I checked, she was having all these muscle spasms and really couldn't have her arms still, right? You remember she was lying in her bed crying as they were shaking violently? Well, look at this video and tell me if you notice anything. Hey guys, it's been a little while since I jumped on here and kept you in the loop with what's going on. I want to pause for a second and apologize for the way I'm talking. I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking at the moment and just a few ticks. So that's a really, really still video, huh? Like not even one arm spasm. It's almost as if she's a normal, able-bodied person that is faking this stuff. And now all of a sudden she has ticks as if she's developed Tourette's from the vaccine. You have got to be an absolute freaking moron if you believe a single ounce of this. Again, this is something that strikes me personally because my sister had Tourette's and dealt with it her entire adolescent life. She still deals with it to some capacity, but it was a debilitating disease where she really did have ticks. And trust me, they do not look like this. This woman is too idiotic to actually even think of ticks that she should have, you know, repeated. Instead, she just does random muscle movements on her face for the next four minutes of her talking mindlessly while faking a stutter as well. It's absolutely vile and I must repeat myself. This is the lowest of the low in terms of class and dignity and just being a good person overall. She is actively misleading people and stealing money from those that are too uneducated or just too ignorant to see the truth. And literally, dude, look at this. I'm gonna let this play out. Again, not a single arm shake. And another thing I want you to notice, the longer she goes on with this spiel and the longer she's trying to remember her script, because again, she's such a dumb person, you can see she slips up and starts to have the ticks less and less. It's like she's forgetting that she's supposed to be putting on this act as the video is filmed. And then when it cuts to the next clip where she has clearly, you know, checked the last clip and kind of sat for a second and hit record now for a second time to continue the rant, right when that comes cut happens, you could tell the ticks are like way amped up again because she's like, okay, I gotta get back in character. Let's do this. It's just ridiculous. Um, uh, I'm still out of town, but I am doing some healing modalities for my brain right now in Connecticut. So I'm very hopeful that I can feel a little bit better soon. Another thing that I want to address is gonna be on the next story. I wanted to take a moment and say thank you to anyone and everyone who has shared my GoFundMe page or has donated. It has really been super touching for me and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because without that, I wouldn't be in Connecticut right now noticed that there are a lot of new pe people here and I know a, a lot of questions and I am trying to stay on top of the very everything as best as I can. I just don't get how you could be such a vile person all for the name of attention and money. That is the only two things on this woman's mind and she has literally forsaken all of her dignity. I'm gonna say that once again, just to achieve this little bit of internet fame. And it's the same thing that's happening with all these random nurses that for some reason joined the nursing program because they thought it was a quick buck, didn't actually care about helping other people or, you know, believing in medicine. And now they're spreading all this misinformation again. It's all a giant grift and it just breaks my heart that there are millions of people that are thinking that this is real. I don't know how you could take a single look at this and not question if this is actually a person with disabilities. We know what these debilitating illnesses look like. We've seen people with them on social media and in, in the real world. You could tell a faker from a real person, okay? Especially when the woman's acting is this bad. Like, it's just appalling that people are believing this, but that original TikTok that I showed you of her showing her, uh, you know, progression of having this illness get worse and worse after the vaccine, that has 11 million views and a million likes. 
So this is not a little, you know, internet thing where there's some quirky people around believing this is real. No, an overwhelming amount of people are believing this BS and it's helping spread dangerous information that people should not be believing at all. So I, I'm honestly disgusted. I'm gonna show a little bit more of this uh, clip of her idiotically ranting on Instagram because it's honestly hilarious to see how bad she slips up with this whole acting thing. I don't think she does a single facial tick that is the same the entire time. And if anybody knows anything about Tourette's, you kind of have set ticks that you develop uh, and they're very similar. It's not just sporadic movements over your face for a given period of time. You want to go check out my story and get up to date. I try to post everything on my blog so you can <laughs> oh my god okay i gotta pause this that was uh, man hey the, the overall stupidity of the human race is becoming more and more evident every single day i exist on this planet so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this woman i think it's a criminal act that she's running a gofundme account and scamming all these people into believing something that is actively harming themselves and their community um it's disgusting i hope she and whoever is attached to this get their comeuppance when this is exposed hopefully someone investigates this because this is just not right and when it comes to all of her medical videos they're so clearly bs i mean she could have just gone in for a checkup and laid on the bed and when the doctor wasn't in there gotten a bunch of stuff taped to her i mean in one of the clips she has a freaking iphone charger taped to her finger and an iv on the top of her arm when have you ever seen an iv up there they put it in where the veins are under your arm you freaking morons i don't know how anyone can believe this i'm sorry i'm getting too salty so i'm just gonna cut this recording short honestly i feel for you guys if you're out there trying to fight the good fight and you're surrounded by people that aren't believing in something that will help uh us move on from this crappy couple of years that we've had it's all because of people just not getting along and and making things political when they shouldn't be so freaking go out there get a vaccine and shut the hell up about it if you don't want to get one also if there's a single comment you know trying to have a little discourse about this i'm so far past that stage at this point um so yeah you can expect your comment to probably be removed and i'll just block you from my channel if you're coming up with some misinformation bs or trying to come to this woman's aid because it's so clearly fake not even funny so yeah as always i'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace out